method to find out the partial fractions. The first method to find the partial fractions, the partial fractions of f of x by g of x when g of x contains g of x contains contains non repeated non repeated non repeated linear factors linear factors rule number 1 rule 1 that means g of x contains non repeated linear factors means the linear factors which is in the form of ax plus b it's not at all ax plus b whole square or ax plus b whole cube and like that x particularly ax plus b form non repeated and irreducible then rule number 1 let us discuss let f of x by g of x be a proper fraction proper fraction proper fraction to each non repeated linear factor or linear factor factor there will be a there will will be a partial fraction of the type or form or the form a by ax plus b where a is a non zero real number non zero real number that has to be determined or evaluated a value has to be evaluated that means if the given proper fraction is in the form of f of x by g of x and g of x contains non repeated linear factors for each linear factor there exist or there will be the partial fractions of the form a by a x plus b and one more something b x plus c is there b by b a, b x plus c or something p x plus q is there d by p x plus q and like that there will exist the partial fractions but how could we get the actually the total concept of this rule so unless we encounter with some examples we won't get the idea so let us do some problems on this rule number 1 to find out the method of the partial fractions so let us do some problems solved examples on rule number 1 so first problem resolve resolve 5x plus 1 by 
x plus 2 x minus 1 into partial fractions partial fractions fractions let us observe given fraction f of x by g of x see g of x contains how many number of factors there are two number of factors what kind of factors are they they are linear factors already we have discussed the linear factor is irreducible factor since it is x plus 2 is not repeated x minus 1 is also not repeated that means x plus 2 is non repeated linear factor x minus 1 is also a non repeated linear factor as for the rule number 1 there exist partial fractions of the form a by x plus 2 plus b by x minus 1 a and b are non zero real numbers these two values are to be determined if we can determine these two values hence that will be the solution we can find out the partial fractions of the given proper fraction so let us do it so now solution 5x plus 1 by x plus 2 into x minus 1 equals to for x plus 2 there will be a proper fraction in the form of or partial fraction a by x plus 2 and plus b by x minus 1. Now, let us find out a and b values that is undetermined values. So, now this equal to take LCM x plus 2 into x minus 1. This we can write a by x minus 1 plus b by x plus 2. Again this is equated to 5 x plus 1 by x plus 2 and x minus 1. Just observe these two. Now, the in both fractions these two are same that is why a into x minus 1 plus b into x plus 2 is e equated to 5 x plus 1. Now, a times x minus 1 plus b times x plus 2 is equal to 5 x plus 1. Now, let us make this x plus 2 0 x plus 2 0 means 0 of the polynomial of x plus 2. In lower classes how to find out the zeros of the polynomial we have discussed. That means, 0 of the polynomial of x plus 2 is x is minus 2. So, put minus 2 on both sides. If you put x is equal to minus 2. So, we get a times minus 2 minus 1 this becomes 0 plus b into 0 equal to 5 into minus 2 plus 1. This is minus 3 a plus 0 minus 10 plus 1 minus 3 a equal to minus 9 a is equal to minus 9 divided by minus 3. So, we get 3 a is 3 a value determined. So, now what is the 0 of the polynomial of x minus 1 that is 1. So, now put x is equal to 1 if you put x is equal to 1 on both sides this is a multiplied by 1 minus 1 0 plus b multiplied by 1 plus 2 equal to 5 plus 1 0 plus 3 b equal to 6 3 b equal to 6 b equals 2 we get 6 by 3 that is 2 see 
both the values have been determined. So, replace a value here 3, b value 2, hence the partial fractions are 3 by x plus 2 and 2 by x minus 1. Hence, here partial fractions, therefore, 5 x plus 1 by x plus 2 into x minus 1 equals to this a replaced by 3, 3 by x plus 2 plus this b replaced by 2, 2 by x minus 1. So, in this way we can find out the partial fractions as for the rule number 1.